Hi everyone, I'm Humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel, and I'm here uh, at the empty lot of where Ariel Castro's home used to be. Um, once upon a time, Ariel Castro, the Cleveland abduction person, abducted uh, Michelle Knight, Amanda Berry, and uh, Gina De Jesus, my cousin Nancy's daughter. Once upon a time, when Gina was abducted, justice was obstructed. Justice was obstructed because, and I say that because. They had Ariel Castro's license plate number within 48 hours of Gina's abduction. 48 hours of Gina's abduction. Hi everyone, I'm Anna Anders on this YouTube channel. I'm one of the many founders of ForGlobalPeace.com. This is my other half here, Carrie Joy Dinette. So Carrie and I were together back in 2003 trying to make peace flags and peace products here in corrupt Illuminati Cleveland. Is this town corrupted by the Illuminati, hon? Yeah, Freemason it's all the way. Okay, so and who did 9-11? Zionistic Jews. Zionistic Jews. And did they sabotage our peace flag initiative here in Corrupt Illuminati Cleveland? Yes. Yeah, they sabotaged it because they, they kept the hole open in our sacred family tree when they knew that they had Ariel Castro's license plate number. Now, I find it really odd, Carrie, that they tore down a factual story, a house here, that had the horrific story of the Cleveland abduction story, which is my family's story right here on Seymour Avenue. And by the way, people, my father bought the home at 3216 Seymour Avenue, Tony Figaro, which Sandra Ruiz is living in today. Sandra Ruiz, which is Nancy's sister, and uh, she was living there the whole time that Gina was being tortured here. Uh, needlessly is what I want to say. Um, but what I want to say here today, an example of the corrupt purple mafia Illuminati Holly weird people is this. They will tear down a real factual story and put some trees here, a little couple bushes. They'll tear down the facts but they'll keep the fiction up. Hi everyone, I'm Anna Anders here on the YouTube channel and I want to talk about the Purple Mafia Illuminati Holly Weird. And they're so freaking weird that they got the Christmas story house that's up. They turned it into a museum with a leg lamp in the middle of their window on West 11th and Buer Avenue. How do I know that? Because I used to live at 1013 Buer Avenue. The house is still there, the Christmas tree story. That's a fabricated Illuminati Purple Mafia story. But they're going to keep that house up. This is a factual story. Ego. It's just, okay, so hold on a second here. Fictitious I'm humble. Thank you, Carrie. But I'm Anna Anders on this YouTube channel, and here's what I want to say Justice was obstructed. We live in times of, uh, how do I say, continued historical corruption and. Uh, corruption and disruption of human life and human values from local to global. What I want to talk about Cleveland in specific, LeBron James. LeBron James, where did they take him to? Because see, he works for the Illuminati, the Purple Mafia. They took him down to Florida. What else do I want to say? Where was our president on 9-11-01? Florida. See, they love the Florida connection. Disney World is in Florida. Disneyland is in California, south of so, south of uh, Hollyweird, I know because I used to work, or I used to live in Anaheim. Uh, excuse me, I used to, excuse me, I used to live in uh, Anaheim, Cali not Anaheim, Santa Ana, California, and I had Disneyland right in my backyard. I know how corrupt Illuminati, Purple Mafia, how weird they are. I know what they're doing with the devastation in the Middle East. They didn't want our peace flag. Did they want our peace flag, Scary? Apparently not because they kept the hole in our sacred family tree for 10 long torturing years. I'm Anna Anders on this YouTube channel on Facebook social media where you're going to get the facts, not fiction. Facts. So the fact is, this is a factual story. The fact is, the Purple Mafia Illuminati likes to keep fiction stories, the Christmas tree story, house going. Now, I'm done here on this Easter Sunday, but I wanted to do a moment of reflection about the facts of our lives and resurrect some truth on Chris on Easter Sunday. I'm Anna Anders. Do you want to add anything to this video? Yeah, the Freemasonics have it all scripted in through the NBA, NFL, LeBron James, same thing. And how did you learn this, Carrie? Did you learn this from a, uh, a website or anything, or some an activist? Website, yes. And what's the guy's name that you're listening Zachary to? Zachary K. Hubbard. Zach Zachary K. Zachary K. is a real. Okay. Also of the uh, English. Okay.
Okay, so listen guys, just a shout out to Zachary S. Hubbard on the YouTube channel. He breaks it down for us with the Jewish uh, secret language encoded, encrypted on the internet and on all these happenings that are happening to the entertainers, to the actors and actresses that are being sacrificed, Prince, okay, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston. Um, when you don't play the game, the Illuminati game, they take you out, okay? But uh, if you play the game, then they keep you in and you're very successful. And I think you know who those people are. They like so being controlled, be obeying, submissive. They, they like you best. So they like to they like to dominate and control information is what it is. And so they dominated they dominated and controlled the information about the Cleveland abduction case. And then they turned around and exploited our family, exploited our family with the movie, with the books. They didn't do one book, they did two books because they're very greedy. See, they knew that they would get two double the income in out of that. So I know how they work. I know how they work. The shame is that Amanda Berry, Michelle Knight, and Gina don't know. But we know because Carrie and Carrie Joy Dinette, my life partner, and myself, we have done our homework. We have gone to New York City. We know because we've attended 9-11 memorials. We've been to New York. So the Purple Mafia is from New York City, from New York City all the way to Los Angeles, Hollywood, all the way to Washington, D.C., all the way to corrupt Illuminati Cleveland, all the way south to Florida. So they're very real. Corrupt Israel is very real, and they need to be exposed for what they are. They also exploited and desecrated the indigenous tribes people, not just in the United States, but from local to global. I'm humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel. Have I been doing activist work here on Easter Sunday? Yes. Yes, I have been. I've been doing a lot of stunts here today, folks. I'm not playing. I'm just saying. i got to get off this YouTube video right now because my phone's going to die. I want to shut it down. Do you want to add anything to this video, Carrie? Um, stay awake, stay do your own thinking, do your own homework and research. There you go. You'll find it in the Geomatria and even if you uh, get on the links with Zachary. Very good. So stay awake, stay alert, and, and research. Google YouTube facts. Yeah, because Carrie and I, we don't talk about fiction here. We're not talking about the Christmas house story. We're talking about the factual stories. And the factual story is they had Ariel Castro's license plate number within 48 hours of Gina's abduction. So that means Amanda Berry, Michelle Knight suffered alongside, needlessly tortured, times 10 years. I'm humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel. That's all I have to say. My family was divided and conquered because of that situation, because we were trying to make peace flags. Did I make they the peace flags? Want, they don't want peace. They don't, they don't want goodness. No, they, they want drama, trauma, and chaos. Did I make the peace flags, Carrie? Did I take my ground zero? Did I give them away? Yes, when I gave them away here in Cleveland, too, there was a shooting at the Chardon High School. There was a shoot. Excuse me. There's a sh shooting that happened at the Chardon High School, and I gave okay. peace flags there. So Carrie's done. I got to go. I have a bad habit of cutting her off sometimes, and I don't mean to. It's just I know what I have on my mind to say, and I want to say it. So that's what it is. So peace flags were given to the Chardon High Schools. Our peace initiative is what we're trying to do here, and that's it. I'm done talking. I got lots of walking to do, and I don't care. I'm going to keep doing it. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.